so freaking tired of mini me shrunken head <laughs> especially because it's completely against the whole point of adept play which is people playing right as humans welcome everybody um we have so much to do uh you'll be pleased to know that the layout of your village uh which incidentally is called green rock way um three words okay. um the name of you know, the, the you'll be interested to know that your village is laid out uh identically to the to apple lane oh nice <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah it may have a detail or two that is different but you know i mean it's nature of what's grown where and like what you know the certain certain th there is no gringles pawn shop okay that's something else but um the layout however is strangely identical we're picking up pretty much exactly from where we left off in the last session um where we're talking about the middle of the night we're talking about some very injured people uh we're talking about two uh horrific corpses as well as a um very sort of i wouldn't say possessed but spirit dominated young woman um who is incapable of motion um you're all battered burned mm. uh ex emotionally exhausted at the very least um those of you who took no damage certainly should not consider yourselves unmarked um and the ones of you who took damage um are like particularly um jonathan is the healing does a fine job of actually repairing the hit points it does not do a good job of uh repairing the the injury status which in your case was um was not i mean it wasn't a killing blow it was it was a falls unconscious was the net effect but therefore your falls unconscious is not easily overcome you know when you got healed you were able to talk a little bit but you would have had to have six points of healing in order to be mm. fine right in one go in one spell you can't just do one point yeah. two point healing in little increments and say oh okay six points doesn't work that way you just get the hit points back but you're not better so um yeah 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 the I imagine um, I'm, I'm still scarred from the burns oh well yeah yeah the burns actually as far as i can tell are those those the marks of any of the injuries are not going to fade right um yeah fact, i think it's just important yeah. to understand that um jonathan is likely because his burns to be marked by this experience quite oh yeah now. oh yeah um well you know you only took like right. one or two points um, per damage per burn so um, let me see if, what happens if i refresh the Wait, say that again, Ian? Yeah, true. I think it's really bad. Uh, Matt, is going. Now, we have uh, talked about how uh, traumatic, you know, the situation is and how difficult it is, even though you're traveling on known paths and roads paths from where you are exactly and then a road to get back to the village is not very hard but this is not ordinary dealing with injured people dealing with uh the aftermath of a fight a lethal fight uh dealing with what on earth you're going to do with um with yorin um mm -hmm. dealing with uh you know all sorts of things there are jonathan was hurt the worst but june and one other person are also quite badly hurt um and so uh need to be tended to 
Um, your healing is just one. Is that correct, Matthew? Just a one point yeah. healing? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Well, you'll be able to throw around a whole lot of one point healing, probably one, two, three, four. If you're going after the burns, that's at least six healing spells. Um, okay. And you've got the, the power to do it without too much yeah. trouble. You can, you know, you can even use your bound spirit. And um, we can deal with rules about spirits in just a moment. Okay. Um, but the um, suffice to say that I think you got away with a little bit last time and we've managed to retcon it a little, but, uh, you know, we're not going to count on that any, anytime soon. Let's deal then with what everybody tells me that they're going to do. I'm not cutting to the next morning. I'm not doing anything like that okay. here or there. So I guess Alcaton's thought would be to get Jonathan back. And if you can find a kid to run ahead to wake the other healers up to get them ready. And so I think when I, I will turn to you. Oh, not again. Seems to kick in as soon as he talks. Mm. Yeah, you may be right to point to his phone connection is the problem. Yeah. Yeah. yeah maybe the bandwidth that is not Sort of is set up for phone calls. Yeah. Ian, do you have a laptop or a computer available to you? Let me I'll, I'll try that. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, and I think maybe partially the issue with that before was that he thought he had a better cellular signal than an internet signal. <laughs> yeah, although I I suspect that I suspect that the the computer connection will be a lot better. Um, we will see. So yeah. there's a uh, geez reflection before while we're waiting for Ian reflections on the system that mm. we're using. Um, First of all, I will be the first to say that I am shocked at how at how functional it is. Hey, Ian, you look good. It works. Yeah, the, the internet connection is variable, though. That's the only thing. So I may I may drop out occasionally. Have to come back in. Let's see. Right. There... But every but... single time you try to talk on the uh, on the yeah. phone, you no, it just borked out yeah. immediately. So yeah. No. So I think we'll, we'll try this for now and see how how well, how well we do. Tell me a little more about uh, what you were trying to say. So, I mean, Jonathan will turn to you guys and say, well, look, um, they're, they're going to come for me now. I, I have betrayed them. I have betrayed the witch. Um, you know, I, I was supposed to betray you and join them, but, 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 I, but, I, but I've, 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 turned, I've turned my back on them. I've, 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 I, I've, 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 you know, I've, I've, I've attached Jodney. I, I'm really worried. I, I don't, I don't dare go home. You know, they, they could be looking for me. And I, you know, I mean, he seems really frightened. And I, I regardless of whether that is a realistic, uh, from what they know at this point, that he's definitely frightened. Uh, June, cradling her, you know, her her injured arm, which you know you've you've probably put a healing spell on so that she's not bleeding copiously anymore. But that doesn't change the fact that she got hacked into by a hatchet after being shoved or somehow, you know, she the Jonathan used slate successfully. So therefore, she doesn't know that it was him who pushed yeah. her. But on the other hand, she knows damn well that she had been preparing to fight and someone shoved her. And... um and is or somehow maybe just pushed against her accidentally or whatever whatever it is she's pissed that she couldn't get in on the fight she's hurt mm. she's you know you know she, she was in danger of at least in game mechanics turn she wasn't in danger of losing her arm but she didn't know that and she was very close to doing so in game mechanics terms and so therefore um you know is in no mood to put up with your whiny bullshit and the first thing she's going to say is, are you trying to tell me you were in on this? You little shit. I say, Jonathan, you did, you did the right thing. These people can't harm us. 
and I'll glower at her. Yeah, so and I say, well, look, you know, they're scary people. They're, they're frightening, and they and they, I, I didn't really know what I was getting into, you know. That they, they they talk about, and I'm a hunter, right? I I live out in the wild, and they talk about the wild and 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 how and how, you know, it can't be tamed. That this this village we live in is, you know, it, it, it's it's a weak little attempt by man to impose his will on on nature and that you know only by accepting that almost and uh you know if nature works by fear they work by fear and i was you know too terrified almost towards to, to, to really to kind of back down but then all they said was they kind of wanted me to get you guys you know some out, out somewhere i didn't know what was going to happen I had no idea what was going to happen. And when, I, and when they attacked, you know, that was when I began to realize that, you know. They were going to try and kill us. Yeah. That, this whole thing went, kill us and we from, had to kill them. Yeah. It went from something that I, I just, I thought was, I don't know, about who was in charge and, uh, you know, who, who are, who, 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 which adults were leading us kind of thing. And it, it turned into something much 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 worse and, and right. you, i've known you guys since i was small I, I i couldn't be i couldn't be part of that i, I couldn't I watch don't i don't understand i don't understand this witch my parents are afraid of this witch that they, they're gonna leave I, I i don't understand any of this it makes no sense to me i just i had i mean i, I don't understand and he's he's clearly very agitated by all this. He starts looking at passed out Yoreen. He starts looking at dead Jodney, and uh, he's he's very confused and and agitated. Yeah, I, I you know something's changed, obviously, and we've been caught up in it, I guess. Um, but it feels like they're you know really trying to. Um, make their play and, and 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 nature is frightening right i mean they're right it is frightening out there once you leave the town a bit um but i i i you know i betrayed them now and and i and i i've seen what they did try to do to dares and to you guys i i i'm really worried i'm really scared june has one thing to say to you Mm. And she says, who, who, you know, this little, and she uses a word I shall not repeat, referring mm. to Yoreen, uh, mm. she, she's not, she, it's not her. You know, I, they didn't trust me enough to, to, to uh, who I really knew was like Yoreen and Maud and, and Jodney. They didn't trust me enough to, you know, to tell me anything else. They were, they were, they were testing me to see, to see how far I'd go, I go. I guess, and I, and I guess they've learned that I would, I won't go, I won't go as far as they want. You went but, far enough tonight, she says. It's just, just you wait. You know, I, I, I did my best when, when, when Jodney came for, you know, and and, and Martin Uring came for you guys. You know, look, look at me, look at me. And I and I kind of point to the kind of like you know the the whether there's some kind of marks or scars even but the healing you know, Irene stabbed me in the head. Uh, I've I've rolled in the fire. I mean I've been, you know, I, it's not like I haven't I haven't bled. I, and you guys can you guys can cut me off. I I guess I, I'd understand that after what's happened, but I'm a dead man if you do. Uh. Yeah, no, no, no. We, we we have to stay together. I mean, whatever's after us, we need we need every help we can get. Um, uh, m maybe we should maybe we should try and find uh, uh, Bakia uh, uh, and the troop. Maybe they can help us. I mean, or or uh, maybe. I mean, I mean, you know. I, 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 I saw how you were with uh, Vakir, and it was like it's like night and day by comparison to how it was for me with with the the witch and her followers. 
So maybe, uh, maybe, 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 maybe the key is. But I mean, do you trust her? I, I, I just met her. She's uh, she, she's powerful. Um, she she's not terribly communicative all the time. Um, uh, I I guess I I trust her more than June says than any of these people. She's all I've got, and she's the only person who ever ever gave me a chance to do anything. And that includes the pack of you. Well, uh, it says, it says I'm I'm going to find her. You know, to, to, you know, she's she's kind of makes a motion as if to, although it's kind of daunting to go walking off into the dark. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but are you guys like all just hanging out in this like bloody mess of corpses and stuff, or are you actually? mobilize them to get going. Alcazar wants to get back to the village with uh, Jonathan and anybody else who's wounded. As I say, if you can try and send anybody else ahead to wake up the healers, he will do. But I want to ask for something, which is a listen roll from everyone. I'll make a roll for the NPC who seems to be graduating <laughs> quickly into a more assertive position. Nope, not, not a success here. Not a success here either. That's a ninety. I look at my numbers, and I, I'm all enthusiastic about rolling. I look at my numbers, and I think, <laughs> oh, those uh, skills are creeping up bit by bit. Oh, seventy nine. It's nothing for Alpha uh, tonight, well, right? Um, well then, so uh, yes, my question is: Are is the pack of you going to be mobilizing to go home, or were you planning on spending your time being here? As the objective referee, it's all one to me. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to stay here. Yeah, I, I, I think I, I, it's not safe. Yeah. I want I want to be somewhere away from the wild. Yeah. She's him. Yeah. yeah, the village doesn't particularly jump out as a great safe place to go back to either, but Vakia might be there. And and Alkerton, you, you, your 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 master is there, right? He's yeah. You, both you trust him, right? And, and the shaman, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So um, I think that's it. We need we need some healing. We need some adult allies if we can get anybody we can trust. But people who aren't actually trying to kill us is also a bit of a safer bet. Yes. Um. So the looks like the the. The, the most challenging thing for Binry is getting his spear back out of Jodney before he leaves. Looks like he's not willing to leave without it, but it's not exactly his favorite thing to get it out and take it with him either. Actually, um, this is probably more of a first for you in a lot of ways. You actually have to figure out that you have to do it. I mean, you've, you've certainly hunted animals before. Yeah, yeah. So the precise technique is not actually beyond you. You don't pull it out the way that it went in. That means that you actually have to manipulate the dead creature to optimize your ability to pull six to seven feet of spear through it. Yeah, to well, do and, this and on there a person are... in and of itself is appalling. To do it yep. on somebody and that you knew is nigh inconceivable, and and that is part of what is freaking him out. Mm -hmm. um, but the alternative seems to be going back in the dark in the village without a weapon. Mm -hmm. So he's trying to steal himself to do this, and he will give it a good try. All right. Um, well, you do have a comrade in arms. Even though she was prevented from fighting, you guys did train together. And, uh, and, and she looks at you and says, weren't you listening today? It's just death. And, um, you know, helps you. So, um, the, uh, so yeah, June will help you recover your spear. 
it's a nasty job. Thanks. I uh, I needed that help. All right. So Alkerton is my next question. What role yep. are you going to take socially here, if any? I'm going to be, I guess, trying to calm down Jonathan, reassuring him of his decision that he, he acted well and, you know, I'm proud of him for being so brave. And I'll probably try and impart confidence in him that I don't really feel myself that say, you know, look, we can beat these people by being together. We can fight them. We can get some allies to help us. Then we've got some good suggestions, um, you know, kind of keep the faith and the intention to mobilise him and um, back to the village to get some help. I'll pick up the hatchet, which I use to hack at somebody and keep that with me mm -hmm. if I can. Sure. Uh, yeah. Well, so reassurance, I guess, is my main, my main function. Well, good enough. So you guys are going to head on the way back. Um, there has been just enough time to worry about the appearance of a certain problem. Remember the light spell that I was talking about? The person mm -hmm. who's holding it up so that you guys can actually function uh, <coughs> says, is, is looking at the medallion, which is giving off this light, and is staring at it and says something's wrong and you can see that everything is becoming darker and more shadowy by the microsecond the light is vanishing there is uh there is something making it darker so you move quickly I'll try and encourage people to make the best use of what we've got and mm -hmm. crack on as quickly as we can towards the village. All right. Well, nobody is impaired at this point um, except for Yoreen. So mm -hmm. I assume you're leaving the, the corpses? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> then the question, somebody's going to have to deal with Yoreen, who's a lot like a somnambulist at this point and is incapable of self-directed hurried movement um, but can be hurried along okay. uh, your spirit is complete your your controlled spirit is um not only eager to go and vanish uh it's not entirely convinced that its job as assigned by eben is to babysit you forever now that it's protected you twice it's uh reasonably willing to go flip away which would free Yorin. um and not only that but it is um uh while while it's busy you know it's it's not really available i'm going to say your bound spirit i'm playing fast and loose here your bound spirit is occupied enough with interacting with that controlled spirit that it's not available to you in terms of power okay fine at this point so um so, that's so should, we, should we free well, him right? well i think it's you know really dangerous to free her she you know i mean yoreen is like she was the one directing telling me what to do and jodney i'm sure she had like you know jodney completely under her thumb I mean, maybe if we if we bind her, yeah, and and then uh, take her back. Look, this is my responsibility. I, I will, you know, I will help her get back. But yeah, sure. I mean, you, you have to do what you have to do, uh, Alton. But we, we we can't just release her without, you know, binding her in some way because. Oh, don't worry. I've got my eye on her. She's the one person I can blame here. <laughs> <laughs> She's an actual Which, target. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, Benry is entirely willing to be, you know, pushing her along, dragging her along, poking her with the sharp end of the spear to keep her moving. Oh goodness! He's he's entirely willing to get her moving along. Is, is he is, is he strong enough for us to just knock her out and put her over your shoulder, Benry? Or is, or is are you so Benry? Quite... Benry is. That's the other thing. Is he is the strong guy? He's a seventeen. Yeah. So. If he's got to actually be dragging her at some point or carrying her at some point, that's fine by him. That's uh, not too much trouble. Why don't you give me a? Um, why don't you give me a strength times five roll? 
which in your case is 85% or less. So Right, which uh, 22 is good. No problem. So. Uh, about halfway there, you're going to have to put her over your shoulder. Yeah. Um, and someone will carry your shield for you, you know. Yeah. Um, and I will I will continue grumbling and complaining about her even as if she were listening even when she's unconscious over my shoulder. Got it. Now, um, great. but uh, the now that the trouble is is that since the light that's being wielded by the light bearing person uh, is flickering and uncertain at this point, um, you guys will about halfway there. Uh, right about the time that you've slung urine, and that, of course, gives you more excuses for your invective. Um, right about at that point is when the um, oh, you realize that there's less people with you than had started. There were about seven people total. Um, Let's see. Well, I know of four of you plus Yurine. That makes five. No, there's more than that. There's maybe 12 people. So, yeah. um, but at this point, that's down by a couple. I'm pretty sure you guys had looked around, got a pretty good face count of who all was with you on the way back. Mm. Well, there's a couple who aren't there at this point. I don't know if this is Skype or you, Ron, but you, I, all I see is your wallpaper. Really? And and the shadow of your head. Oh, oh, yeah, Skype, sometimes it moves the camera off to one side when it's, when it's displaying everyone right. in, in different places. I'm not quite sure how that can change that so much, except maybe to do this. Better? Yep. Okay. Yep. So the um, um, maybe what happened is is you got frozen. Okay. No, yeah, I know gotcha. I know what it means. Uh, that happened to Matthew a while ago, and I was looking at his eyebrow for quite a while. So um, <laughs> sorry. The, uh, oh, present sight. So uh, <laughs> so this is this is this is definitely when we notice that everybody's going to go. Where did what mm -hmm. what's going on? Right. So what do you do? Do you press on? trusting to luck or are you going to pause and try to understand what's happening Ooh, tricky one um i mean heard nothing or was that the listen check we all failed on yeah um i guess alcatin will try and figure out what's going on although it sounds a very dangerous thing to do so he'll begin calling their names and looking around if he can mm -hmm. well jonathan will say i think at this point say look darkness it, 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 it must be the witch she's she's coming for us we, we, we mustn't stop we'll all we'll all be killed he seems you know panicky yeah we've we, we've you're right we've got to keep moving we've got to keep moving uh uh everybody uh, grab grab the person near them stay in contact everybody stay close to each other in contact don't okay. lose your grip Okay, good, good point. Everybody starts doing that. Um, and then uh, one person gives a little scream. And because the person whose hands they've grabbed is, they, they've realized what's happened to the person that they've grabbed. Um, and the, this is coming from an area that the light is not penetrating. Because you can't see everybody all the time. The light fades in and out. And so you realize that this person who just gave a little scream is in a very dark. You, you, you cannot see precisely what is happening, even though it's six feet away from you. Can we pull them out? Yes. Uh, the, the, the person that you pull who had given the little scream uh, is fine. I'm going to say it was the guy who had had his arm chopped by the way that June had. Uh, and then the, uh, the, the, actually no it's another person that guy was the one who they mm. grabbed when he gets pulled into your sphere of perception you can see that his face is frozen in a a grotesque rictus of terror and he is non-responsive he's wow. barely he's standing out of what seems to be almost leftover from the fact that he was standing at the time. Mm. 
frozen in fear. Ah, uh, uh, help him, help him. We've got to move. We've got to keep moving. I mean, that's the only only thing that uh, Benry can see to do is, mm. you know, gather in around our little closing light. Everybody help everybody as best you can and just keep moving. Let's see how you do in terms of movement, initiative, and certain things of that kind. Mm -hmm. um, let's take a look at your strike rank. This is for movement only, I think, um, possibly modified by your attempts to organize, because you have to do this in an organized way, unless you just bolt individually. So tell me um, just what you're going to do, and then pick a strike rank for it, because I'm kind of curious. Well, let's see. My base strike rank is Five. Yeah, don't worry about the the uh, the. Do not concern yourself with weapon length and stuff like that. Yeah, my base strike rank is five. My movement is eight, and you know, for the most part, I've got uh, Yorin over a shoulder, and I'm holding on to somebody else, and I'm just trying to drag him along as best I can. You know, Binry is not being awfully sophisticated, both between the fact that he's carrying your arena and that he's a little a little overwhelmed by it all. Do you have your um do you have your movement rating? Yeah, it's eight. My movement is eight. Eight's the baseline for a uh for a humanoid. Right. Um, and considering that you guys are slightly hampered by the need to organize, and in your case by a burden. Yeah. Um, yeah. and also so it probably hampered. goes down from there. Yeah. Uh -huh. And also that you are um, uh, also that you are are basically uh, slower than the thing. Uh, darkness, almost like a river of it. But considering that you're already in the dark night with an uncertain light already is perceived by you as almost like the onset of blindness. Um, and so uh, it flows upon you. Um, and uh, therefore you are up against the attack of a shade. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I think um, our time is nigh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do a little bit of an attack. We're talking about its power against your constitution. So it's going to roll an attack, and it has a... Um, its, its size um, is really not much more than that of a person it is it is sort of the same size as a person's sphere of influence um and the only thing i can tell you is just before the darkness falls completely you get the idea that there is a humanoid shape standing among you so even mm. as you like try to mobilize and try to move and get going you sort of suddenly realize as you're all kind of hobbling or you know hurrying along that that you are not alone and that this thing has actually joined you in terms of its physical space whether <coughs> it was pursuing and caught up with you or is that's probably the impression you get so um even as the uh you know the the ordinary ambient light of the stars and stuff which you would still expect to have if the light spell were gone that's gone that's what i meant by the blindness it's darker than it should be not just the light not just missing the light spell um the light spell is engulfed the person who is holding the medallion, the medallion cries out in real fear um that person happens to have only a moderate constitution 
And so when we check to see how the shade's fear shock affects him, um, it will be, let's see, a successful blow on the resistance table against him. And let's see, with a, what was it? That was a 20 something. Uh, that person collapses, basically freezes, muscles go into a rictus, uh, and their knees collapse and they hit the dirt. Um, and that area of effect, which is a bit more than a, a person, about the size of a person, but more like surrounding that person rather than um, just limited to where their limbs would be. But so, I mean, I might as well say it's three meters by three meters by three meters. Um, and so they can't like get all of you in one shot, but it can certainly go after you one by one. And it's faster than you are in terms mm -hmm. of motion. Well, so Benry, as soon as Benry sees that there's there's this figure that kind of blinked into existence that was amongst us for a second, um, he's going to watch for the return of that figure, and he's going to try and target with target it with his binding to slow it down so that he can run away. Okay, um, in that case. Um... You're going to have I mean, to make an know. intelligence. You're going to have to make an intelligence times five roll in order to attack it. That's the case for all of you. Um, and I also have to double check on something regarding it. Ah. Probably going to want that roll somewhere else, but yeah. Well, what'd you get? I got a sixteen. For my intelligence roll, so mm. I'm good when my intelligence roll. Excellent. Okay. Uh, is that actually below your actual intelligence? No, my okay. actual intelligence is ten. Okay. So, because he's it, the, the shade is attacking Binry, I will also attempt to. I will, I will pull a stone from my pocket and whip it into my sling, ah. and try and make see your, if I can spot Make it your too. intelligence times five roll as well. Uh, Henry, what no. are you, what, how are you attacking it? I am, I'm the thicker member of the team, and uh, yes, yeah, so 88, my 45% chance of spotting anything useful. Uh, easily led is probably right. his best description. Yes, well, this isn't <laughs> spotting. This is a matter, actually, of mastering yourself in order to attack or cast spells at all against this thing. Yeah, I don't, I don't so think that's happening right you, now. You shrink from it in, uh, in mm -hmm. fear. And so... Um, so Binry is looking at his, you know, the whatever the appropriate rune that's inscribed on his spear is and putting a binding on it to slow it down. Okay. So um, your strike rank for this is? Uh, so for using magic, strike rank is just the number of points. So I guess it's a six. Is that right? Correct. So... Um, the uh, the other thing is that I'm interested in um, your constitution. What is that? Oh, uh, my my constitution is nine. Ouch. Okay. Um. Let's. Uh. And Matthew, what are you going to do? Um. I guess this shade isn't a spirit, Ron. So I can't. I can't it find it. It is not a spirit. So I guess I will <laughs> optimistically try and swiggle it with a hatchet then. Make your intelligence times five. Yeah, um, I think I'm 65 for that. Fail. Oh, I think 67. Just I see. So, uh, you two are quailing from it, and uh, it is going to be since its attack is proximity based, it'll be coming in first. It doesn't actually. Oh, wait, actually, no, that's not quite true. Uh, now that I think about it, it's going to be using its actual direct physical attack. 
Um, and so, um, which is what the book tells me that it will do. The shade will strike back with the attack oh, chance oh. above. Since it is not using a weapon and it has more of a reach than you, Benry, then uh, that's a bit of a question because you've got your spear. Definitely it's going to come in, it doesn't have a dex, so it's a little harder to, to estimate. Um, let me double check on this. Um, no problem. The, the, the story, the, the book is a little bit tricky on the whole strike rank for unusual attacks category. Mm -hmm. um, right. Oh, okay. So that's if you're inside the effect, actually. Well, I'm going to do this over again. You guys are not inside your the effect, so you can attack directly. Um, all of you can. Uh, Benry, you are in the area of effect, but the question is whether you're going to be overcome by the fear shock. Um, and interestingly enough, it rolls, well, it rolls a 19. Um, you are 20 minus con full turns. Shoot. Roll your con of five or less. Cool, uh, sorry, of constitution times five or less. Um, apparently, I'm, I'm, Rolling well on these kinds of things in 18, so... That's good, because the result was death. <laughs> save against death time. Right. You actually, yeah, you actually just saved versus death. Um, you, uh, you hit the dirt like the other person did, who incidentally has expired. Um, and you hit the dirt uh, like the other person did, and your heart seizes up. We'll talk to you in a little bit. Like, I'm in, going to stop like you from in, moving. So, yeah, as in, <laughs> as in, like eleven turns from now. So, whoops, so Daisy, you know my chops to them. So yeah, um, and so the two of you, however, have not been enveloped by fear shock, and so therefore do not have to do that intelligence times five roll. After all, as he quickly learns wow. the elemental rules on the fly by the seat of his pants out of this ancient rule book. So <laughs> therefore. Um, you are up. I'm going to say that the hatchet's coming in first because of the whole sling readiness thing. So, yeah, um, sure. therefore, uh, go ahead um, and see how you do. I think we used the one handed cutting glass, didn't we, for it? So, I'll do the same again. Mm -hmm. and it's the standard uh, skill chance, Ron? Uh, yes, yes, there's nothing yes. funky okay. about this. Um, yeah, 39. Yeah. I want to kind of double check on attack or cast spells. You did you hit with a thirty nine? No, my skill's twenty, I'm afraid. Okay. Um, and so then uh, so yes, I'm not going to worry about the the other X of that regard. So what happens is that it can envelop you and if you're still functional, if you make your intelligence times five roll, then you can attack or cast spells from within it in which case it will strike at you physically. But its initial attack is always just to flow over you and see what happens with the fear shock. This thing is actually quite frightening, I am discovering. So yes. um, therefore, Ian, it's your role. Okay. So I uh, shall try and hit you with my sling. Uh, and I roll a zero two. Hurrah. Holy shit. Um, on a 5% chance. Well, on a what percent chance? Forty percent chance. Forty percent so. chance. You you nailed it. You got yourself a critical and an imp and uh, yeah. So and um, an impale. I get you can right. impale well, with a bit of sling. It doesn't, a sling no, no. doesn't impale, but the uh, which yeah. is too bad because that's where the real damage comes from on a critical yeah. because it ignores armor. Otherwise, a critical means it ignores armor. Impale is what gives you the extra damage. Tell me, yeah. I'm going to look. I'm going to be really nice. I'm going to look in the uh, extra damage here. Or in the appendix here because what the appendix does is it permits the equivalent of impales for slicing and for crushing and mm -hmm. so here you go um technically it says any smashing weapon and i'm going to be real generous and say that a sling is a smashing weapon so there you okay. are um and so roll the weapon damage normally and add your damage bonus 
Okay, so it's a D8, which is seven, and my damage, but I don't think I have a damage, but let's just, just check. Uh, no, I am I am weak boy, so so just, just seven points. Seven points. Mm -hmm. That's actually pretty remarkable. Your stone contacts an entity and it shrieks in agony cool. and recoils. You have substantially damaged it. Oh, well done. Wow. Jonathan's done good tonight. Yes. Yes. Um, and I'm sure, I'm sure, right. um, I'm sure that they went too much to give him, but never mind. Mm -hmm. Um, and in fact, uh, I'm going to, since this is an elemental, um, and is not really very a mind, not very much of a mindful creature. Um, I'm actually going to make it a roll to see whether it recoils or not. Uh, a spirit has a sense of self-preservation, an elemental, not so much, but it might have some. So let's see <coughs> its intelligence which isn't very bright. And let's see how its intelligence does uh, relative to self-preservation. So let's see, 2.6, that's 8, 40%, right? Let's, and no, it's not bright enough to flee. It's not smart <laughs> enough to, to flee. So it, but it does shriek and and uh, uh, shall I say the the light effects return to normal in a flickering and uneven way. In other words, its darkness pool is disrupted severely. Um, you can okay. tell what you did. So then uh, the uh, next person to go. Um, well, I'm going to ask you, what do you all do now? Uh, Benry is is flat out on the dirt. Um, and, I did the uh, absolute best I could to land on top of Yorine and cause ah. her some damage. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all I could do. Um, so, and so, yes, go ahead. I guess, I guess the only thing with the missile weapon, and I might have applied this first round because of running weapons, but certainly potential other rounds, is, of course, a sling is basically as many times as I can... My, my strike rank permits in a round, right? Absolutely correct. So I have a strike a three. Oh yeah, you're coming in faster than it then, as a matter of fact. Yeah. For another shot. Why don't you take it, go ahead and roll. Uh, the chance of me rolling successfully to hit anything again are very minimal, guys, so don't get too excited. But right. um, uh, It is, of course, targeting you next. Yeah, of course it is. 59, so I miss. Okay, um, Matthew. Um, I think I'm encouraged by... Um, you know, Jonathan's hit with a slingshot, so I'm going to have another crack with a hatchet, I think. All right, go ahead. Likely, but... Uh... Ah, zero four. Holy cow. And that that's... is the same oh. score. I've only got a skill of 20, so I think he's no, impressive right. again. That's a 20%. So, yeah. uh, actually, 20% is a slice. Excellent. Yeah. So you are going to get that. Do you have any strength bonus? I very much doubt it. <laughs> it's my yeah, Henry's the strong one, so yeah, twelve. Yeah. That looks pretty average yeah. to uh, me. Let me just quickly check on the old. Uh, I got the hatchet the damage up. thing there. Slashing, slashing. There it is. Yeah. Um, weapon damage rolled normally twice. The two results are added together. One d six plus one. I've got in my book. Twice. Great. Uh, 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 uh. So a two and a six. So that's a combined total of uh, three ten. All right. So the uh, the effect is uh, to completely disperse it. Your slashings mm -hmm. basically completely unravel it, and you have killed a small shade for your information. So they don't really have get... that many hit points. Thank goodness, they're scary. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. They're, they're Given really, the Usain versus death moment, I think that's probably yeah, they, quite... No, um, they, they hit really fucking hard, but they really aren't all that nasty in terms of defense or physical attack. Yeah. So uh, the real problem is that they get they come in different sizes. Yeah. This one was small. And if we you have one that can stuff. fill... If you have one that can attack 20 people at once and they all fall over clutching their hearts, that's mm. the problem. So... Mm. Um, so anyway, that's but the, but this one could go after only one or two people at a time. So um, so there you go. You're all like staring at each other. Minry's down, and he's been like your guy's strong right arm this whole time. And uh, Alkerton yet again coming ahead in the leadership position. Um, you are uh, you are in a position to decide what to do. Especially after doing this, everybody's like, you know, staring at you. I'm going to, you know, it's, it's Jonathan who in, in, inspired me with his attack. Um, well, I think I want to get everybody back and, and save. So I want to try and get Binry up on his feet if I can. To try, if I can do anything to help him recover, if I've got any kind of um, herbs or anything he can sniff to try and wake him up, any simple remedies to try and rouse him. Uh, in that case, make a relevant role. And I got first days. <laughs> I'm looking through my skill list. I should have, I would have thought. Uh, got lore. A lore? Some lore? Yeah, I got lore disease, animal care, treat disease. Um, fine plant. That was my kind of herbalism one before we used. You are, are not in good shape to use any such thing at this time. Okay, fine. And you, you attempt, but exactly what we just saw on the player's face for the last 20 seconds is pretty much what we're all seeing on Alcatraz's face. So, um, therefore, uh, it will take an hour, technically 55 minutes, before Benry can walk on his own. Before that point, I think he will be able to be guided and cajoled and moved. But... It will, and, and you will find that at least one other person is in his condition, and at least one other person has died, is lying there dead in a contorted and very depressing fear, you know, a death of fear. Mm -hmm. um, and um, therefore, you know, the, the fate that awaits you, because you're pretty sure this isn't the only shade that lurks in these woods. Um, and, uh, your, the fate that awaits you is quite clear, you know, one or two more attacks by things like this, and you can see what's going to happen. Furthermore, Binry can be with work brought along, carried at first, then half carried, and then, you know, made to come along. Um, June is not a weakling. She can definitely help support him. And there are, you know, still over half a dozen of Yorin is even harder. Uh, matter of fact, you know what? That controlled spirit says, "Okay, fuck it," and leaves. Okay. After fine. the attack of an elemental, I think that I think that's enough. Yeah. Um, and so Yorin is now becoming, at this point, is sullenly staring. At <coughs> Have you and, got it tied up? Uh, I don't know. Do you? I think we said we were going to tie her over Binry's shoulder at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. She's staring at you sullenly and says nothing. I will. I will haul her to her feet. Mm -hmm. And I will say, um, you know how to stop this, right? This is your doing. This, 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 this killing. Jodney's gone. Your father's gone. Loads of our friends have gone. You've got to turn away from this before it's too late. Charisma roll. Percent. Mm. Um, although, wait. The, the, I was doing that as charisma times five. Let's do that. Actually, let's do that slightly differently. Because we've been doing that as a resistance table thing. Oh, okay. And I've got Urine right here. There we go. All right. Wow, getting you guys out of this wood is turning out harder than I thought. I was all worried about like what I would be prepared to do tonight, and uh, 
it's turning into a bit more of an adventure. Um, yeah, not surprising, like really, fun. but yeah. it's a bit of, it's, it's a bit of a team slash effect at the, at the moment. Got it. Okay, uh, you rolled a um, a sixty one. Your charisma was what an eleven. Um, that is yeah. in, that is insufficient. And yep. she uh, she basically you know sneers at you and says yeah. you know you you you've already got a taste of what's coming to you you know you're the last person I need to worry about. I say, well, you know, if you're not careful, you're going to end up like Jordan and Mar, but I guess that's your choice. Yeah, I mean, why why do we keep her alive, Jonathan? She's not going to help us. Well, because I guess we need to take her back to the elders in the village because she may be able to crack open the the cells, I guess. Mm -hmm. She may not have, know, know who else is involved if she'll talk, but what are we going to do, kill her? I mean, you can just kind of... Well, she's uh, essentially a bit of a dead weight at the moment, and you know. Well, I I guess I mean I I maybe I thought that we we, we would have some kind of process of justice, but I think we're a bit beyond that, mm -hmm. Jonathan. Now I think it's us surviving against these uh, terrible people. Yeah, I'd, just I'd, throw I'd, her I don't know. at the I'd, next I'd, one of those shadows that comes at us. Throw her at him. <laughs> I feel like I stepped away from. You know, Jonathan's, it's, Jonathan's like, I'm trying to be a better person over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. Can't I think he Isn't there a good side I can turn to, for God's sake? Yeah. You know? <laughs> exactly. He's like, you know, I'm just not sure. I think there has to be justice of some sort, surely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Surely, there's just not summary execution in the middle of the woods. I understand that she's. What, what, what they've done. But don't we become just like, why not join them at that point? If, no, if that's what we say we are. You're right, Jonathan, you're right. There's no point fighting the monsters if we become them. I'm not, uh, not that I could. I'm not going to carry her again. He's delirious. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. Uh, so power. I'm going to say that if you guys hoof it back to town immediately, you've got a shot at actually making it. Okay. If you dither anymore, um, Yorin is uncooperative and even tied up, <laughs> which makes it even worse, um, mm. is not going to be transportable without considerable effort and slowing you down fatally. But suffice to say, the woods are rustling. The forest is thicker than you imagine. Mm. You guys thought you were in pasture. You're still in woods. Mm. And there are spider things here too. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, so I would have to say that you are actually in incipient and immediate danger. Only speed is your. Suffice to say, you can you can you know that it's more thickly wooded here now then this patch of ground, which you are intimately familiar with, should be. All right, here's what, here's what I suggest. Why don't we just leave her here bound and let fate decide what happens to her. The witch takes her, takes her back or the witch punishes her for failure. Who knows? We can, we can tell the village what happened and, you know, she can be punished at a later time, but, but if we try and drag her with us, we'll, we'll die. And if we stop to finish her, I I just don't know whether I I I I am the person to do that. Yeah, I think you're right. We, we don't we don't kill her. You don't think we can you can move her and I'll move Binry? We keep up the speed. Um, uh, uh, I'm still <laughs> not functioning well. Uh, she's not worth dying over. That's for sure. Um, Haven't we got at least one other um, victim who's 
I know I could try, but I think I'm going to be slowed down. I've got strength 10, right? So Yeah, fair enough. I'm, okay. well, I'm presuming right. trying to carry her all the way back to the village means Ron's going to say, you are moving too slow, Ian. No, yeah, June, Ron fine. doesn't have to. June is already walking and says, you know, stay here and die if you want. Yeah. yeah. Bakias no, can, can teach me to fight, and I'm going to fight. I'll start walking. Yeah. Yeah. Just get the binry going. Yeah. Well, the, the other people with you will do the same, and so uh, it's a it's an exhausted and bedraggled bunch who make it back, um, and uh, it's it's the the situation. However, when you reach back at the village, is chaotic. Torches mm. waving back and forth, people running in small groups. It's well, it's a, it's a kind of a disturbing chaos in that it's not a huge cacophony. It's rather everything seems quiet and wrong. And then like a group of people will run from house to house or area to area. And you won't know why. You know, and then a bunch of people with torches will, you know, light up torches and like, you know, sort of be barricading a particular, you know, area. And you don't know why. And uh, so it's got this kind of ominous and unpredictable, unevenly lit sense of activity around your village from place to place. Um, and uh, the what you're going to find is uh, Eben is standing in an open area. Um, and uh, as he stands, you can actually see him sway back and forth in a very unnatural, stiff way, as if the only thing that kept him standing was the particular position. I mean, the way his muscles at the mo at a particular moment, and now that he's been tipped, he's actually swaying back and forth in a kind of about to topple fashion. Um, that the area around him is um, littered with small animals um most i mean including spiders uh mostly dead in a perfect circle um and you can see you know like a bird drop from the air like a stone and hit the dirt as you're as you're going so um the uh so that's happening uh, lighting that area with uh, a lantern on a pole is Rudiver, who is uh, uh, at this point on his knees with fatigue. Um, clearly, in the last few minutes, uh, or in the last period of time, somebody has tried to attack Eben. Uh, that person has just kicked for the last time, and most of their blood is all over the road. Um, and uh, and that's because um, Vakia is there. She looks absolutely exhausted and is actually leaning against a post with, uh, with all, the only thing that's actually really active about her is her sword arm, which is held out like this with her, the back of her hand up. Um, and the sword extending in front of her, and she's looking back and forth, left and right, as she and, and as that person expires, only then does she drop her point of her sword from in line with him, and take on a more ready stance, looking left and right, and that's when she sees you guys. Um, and uh, and and she, like I said, she looks completely wiped out. Is the attack over? Is there people there? Is it a spiritual attack? I mean, I guess oh, I'm sort of assuming. Eben is Eben... in the middle. Eben is in the middle of a ferocious spiritual encounter on the spirit plane right now, which seems to be, yeah. you're seeing some of its physical manifestations. You he's know drawing... that the animals were housing spirits, many of okay. which have died or have been expunged. Just... Wow. Yeah. Okay. He's pulling through his stock, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh... Um, and uh, and then. Uh, Let's see, a couple of things maybe, if I don't know, think I'll call for an intelligence role. Rudiver has kind of been Eben's uh, ally 
for some time. Remember, he was the one who wanted to contact Evan in the first place when Death yeah, came, when Death came back. Yeah. And then um, also, uh, so yeah, a few a few things might start to snap together for you at this time. Looking around, seeing who is uh, being defensive, who is, uh, uh, but the, but there there's weird things happening. A, a chorus of screams arises from one corner of the village. You don't know why. Oh, um, can I see my mother at all? Is she safe? Well, that's a good question. Finding any one person right now, well, you can go to your house if you want. And I guess I want to help. So I guess, can I see, so Rudy was exhausted. Is Sunan around the other herbalist? Oh, Maybe you'll have, person. again, if you're looking for a single person, you're going to have to do some work. Okay, I think my first priority is see if I can get some help for Binri and Jonathan to some extent. So we look for Sunan at the moment. Okay. Once I put them into care, go back and help Evan. Mm -hmm. with plan, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a that's a question. How long did? Well, I suppose how long it took us to get back here may be irrelevant. How is Binry feeling right now? I was going to say it's been about that time as when you are able finally to function again. It's been okay. a really nasty slog. It may not have been the precise fifty-five minutes, but you're coming back online at this point. Um. And so, uh, yes, that's your, your situation, apparently. Um, let's see, uh, Vakia will notice you and June and, uh, and will we'll say, uh, uh, you know, the, the one sentimental thing you've ever heard her say. And she says, uh, Nea, thank you, goddess, thank you. So what's uh, everyone doing? Uh, so I'm looking for Sunan. Okay. Anyone else? And my yeah. mother as well, if I happen to stumble across her, sorry. Mm -hmm. yeah. Binry will not at least, you know, just as he's coming into village starting to feel better, look for the person who was carrying his shield, take his shield back, and kind of start moving over towards Vakia saying, Are there more? Can, do, do we need to who do we need what do we need to guard? Mm -hmm. um, and kind of expecting that June is probably somewhere right nearby as he does this. Mm -hmm. I, I will probably, I think, stick with Binry right now. He, uh, uh, I mean, I'm a bit lost. Jonathan's a bit lost, right? You know, eventually he, does, he doesn't really necessarily want to give out to people he's been with who have led him astray. And Alkerton seems as though he could be quite dark as well. So I'm, I'm just going to follow Binry and, and tag along with him a little bit. Um, Good enough. Hey, yeah, Matthew, are I you guess with I'm. Us? Looking... Yeah. Is, is my oh, first oh, okay. Camera on is, and off, is, if you would. Is, yeah. Des, is Des around? Um, no, Des stayed with the caravan. Right, okay. He, hasn't, he didn't come back with Binry and Vakia. He's been gone. Yeah. Okay. Smart man. Well, he's, from his point of view, he was bringing it down on the village. Mm. Um, and then, uh, and then, well, we can talk more about the the various mechanics yeah. and game factors that went into that whole scene. But the um, did did any of you get a chance to look at the file I sent with the cult of Nea? Yeah. Yeah. What did you? Ian, what did you think about that in terms of like RuneQuest level write-ups? Yeah, it's a good one actually. Um, I, I thought it was, you know, obviously there are flavors of uh, human and stuff as you, as you say, but actually it's quite distinct in a way because, well, it's interesting, right? Because I was looking at it thinking, well, is is Naya the good guy's cult? And, and, and kind of not really either. Um, you know the whole thing of really the um the, the uh, but not necessarily it's humact if you play it a certain way but yeah right. there's well, the, the, the trouble with humact historically in glorantha is that it's so well i don't know if it's a trouble or not but it is proven humact has proven to be an extremely mutable god depending on the mm -hmm. table and so every group does it differently um and i 
wanted to get away from most of the ways that I had seen it written or done. Um, that's not to say some other Gloranthin group might not play Humax the way that I'm doing Nea, but I haven't seen it done that way. Um, so, uh, so yeah, basically, you know, cross between Hell's Angels and Ritual Murderers. Yes, essentially, that does seem to be the choice here. Yeah. And, but, but obviously the Hell's Angels, you know, do seem quite attractive at first, you know, the outlaw life or whatever, actually. And then when you begin to realize quite what membership entails, well, it, it does. Well, it depends. It depends. We'll see. Um, this, yeah. this is a, these are, these are godlings and these are young cults. Um, mm -hmm. They are. It, I've gotten away from Law and Chaos completely. Which sure. ones that the, the we'll we'll see. All right, let's take a look at uh, let's take a look then at what you guys are trying to do. Um, Ian is okay. In uh, I don't know what Jonathan's up to. So, so he basically is tagging along behind Benry. Got it. Um, I think. He, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, and so um, the. Uh, the, the the first thing Bakia will do is she says to both June and to Binry and says I need to know more. She says, I need to the the it's it's easy to be the the, 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 the seeing is distracting me. To know I have to be blinder. I have to I have to, to to stop seeing all this. She gestures and says, uh, the, the, the truth is only available to the blind. Mm. She says, guard me and closes her eyes. Exchange glances with June and uh, begin guardian right june june kind of you know like uh you know swallows hard and uh you know holds uh let's see uh you know kind of kind of tries to tries to be dangerous <laughs> the two of you do your best um yeah. now the uh when that happens uh make a scan roll Uh, 73 is not going to get me anything. No, but we'll see what June comes up with. Ah, nope, not so well either. 60 something. And yeah, so, we, yeah. Will we, we, we give it a try, Ron, just in case? Uh, although it's a. You are, or, not, or you you are not in the vicinity in that situation. Okay. So you're you're with. Oh, no, you said you were backing up Benry. You are there. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. You go right ahead. Yeah. Yes. You need You got one too. Uh, but I failed. So, okay. but it was worth a try. Yes. Now, but actually, that was something that I was going to add: is that Benry will probably also go ahead and include uh, Jonathan in his gang, his glance. My guess is June probably does not. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. Right. And so uh, she again, she doesn't really suspect you of pushing her so much as just she knows you are in on the situation. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and should she ever given... learn? Should she ever learn that you pushed her? Let's just say I hope you're the one who tells her and not someone else. Yeah, very true. So uh, Alkerton uh, yep. is looking all around, and obviously the first thing to do is, um, I mean, pretty simplistic. Another scan roll. Yep. Uh, so I'm thirty. Oh, 46. So not great. Uh, excuse me. Okay, so 46. Now let's take a look at the uh, at your situation. You're, that just means a casual glancing around isn't doing the job. It doesn't mean you can't eventually find them. Now if you do head off, to your, you've been looking for Suna and you're not spotting her on a casual glance or even a dedicated glance, um, you'd probably have to go to where she is associated. But my impression is that, you know, without that, you're probably going to look, the first person you look for in a dedicated way is your mother. Um, and um, the, let's see, where would she have gone? 
Right. Well, your mom's not dumb. Okay. She has teamed up with a few other adults, including Benry's parents. Uh, they have uh, shields. Those who don't really know how to use them are clutching them in sort of a this you hold it you you put it in the way right kind of way and then uh, there, and there are several people there who obviously know how to use them who are at least trying to give the others some deal and uh they are um patrolling they're actually patrolling they're going in groups and staying in contact with one another at periodic intervals groups of five or six people pretty much a fair portion and all told if you really add them up a fair portion of the adults of the village. Okay. Um, they uh, and and a lot of the young, like young children, have been herded into one spot. Um, and uh, the people there have torches and weapons, and are looking particularly grim. In fact, there's been at least one person who's been speared through the heart near that area. Okay. Um, um, one one person, uh, another uh, person is being dragged from a house. One of the patrols is dragging a person from a house who's screaming, protesting in innocence, um, and they are having none of it. Ah, so getting rid of the cultists inside the village as well. Well, that's what you hope. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I was going to really get Binry and Jonathan some healing, but they seem to be functioning quite well now. Mm, they're they're healed and in game terms they are fully functional it is not yeah. the that, that's not really the issue um i will certainly well, take certain things into account in terms of penalties whenever yeah, so whenever necessary i'll ask my mother if if uh if she can update me what's happening if she's seen sunan at all mm -hmm. um and she says uh sunan's doing her best where she can uh, what you need to do is help Eben. Okay. I was worried about Jonathan and got burnt. Could you could you send her over to uh, him when when she has a moment? Jonathan got burned, and she kind of looks at you and says, "Get a grip, son." <laughs> is he walking? Can he fight? He, he, he definitely can. Then he's not hurt. Okay. Okay. It's been a tough night for all of us. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've yeah I've killed a shade and killed somebody tonight, so I'll go and help Evan. Right. I'll take advice. On the other well, hand, when Mom gets you, angry, right, you know, just before <laughs> you you might have missed it if you hadn't looked back once. Your mom is flashing what is a very approving grin in your direction. Good, as you're on your way. <laughs> right. Um. And so um, the uh, so yes, um, in this this somewhat difficult situation. All right. Well, the various roles of GM, the NPC versus NPC would be tedious. Mm -hmm. um, your specific roles in this situation are minimal or absent unless you want to do something really proactive until you know until such a time as i say otherwise um so let me know what any such proactivity might be um if anything just um, the helping evan however how we do that well, well i guess the only thing that might be that jonathan might if 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 trouble develops one thing he might look for is the opportunity to help june in the sort of warped belief that perhaps if he saves her life or from saves her from injury he somehow you know restores the cosmic balance against his, his actions earlier right but that may not occur but i just mentioned that in passing the uh <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> so the uh the only thing that i really need to focus on then is the spiritual situation um, and that may actually call for a roll or two. Um, and I apologize for the slight delay in doing any such thing. Um, 
Oops, where did he go? Well, this is the sort out the spirit rules part of things, huh? <laughs> well, the, yes, it is. But more importantly, I'm just looking up my notes for Evan. I'm just getting ah. just getting his character sheet out. And he was, I went the wrong way in my flip folder here. So here he is. And he's used up all of his stored power by now. So, uh, so that little plus is gone. Um, only his spirit shield is keeping him from being utterly overwhelmed. Um, and uh, however, you know, spells don't last forever. And they do have durations. And so he's uh, starting to have to fuel it with more power to keep it running. Um, and uh, he has... Uh, uh, Rudiver uh, basically says, you know, uh, to you, Alcartan, he says, come here, you know. And uh, you can tell that... Um, uh, he has also been, you know, suffered some of the ravages of, of spirit attack. Um, so I'll go to him. Yes. As a matter of fact, I just realized I have Rudiver's sheet right here too. Right. Right. Yeah. He is not a very macho guy. I am sorry to say. Um, oh, and so mm -hmm. now, um, what you're going to do is to, um, right. Uh, shall you cast any spells upon yourself? Um, uh, well, oh yes, I did. I think my spirit learnt. Did you tell me one of the sessions my spirit learnt, um, spirit shield, I think. That's correct. So it sounds as if if that's protecting Evan, it might help me. So I will uh -huh. I will Good ask idea. my spirit to cast spirit shield on us if it can uh -huh. do it on both of us. Um, it can do it on you, and yep. uh, and so uh, it will spend its power to do so. Um, okay. So it will uh, it will drop in power, and so which I will make a note of. How much does that cost, Ron? Sorry. Um, spirit shield, I believe I'll have to double check, but I think it's variable. Okay. So, um, and in this particular game, you only know it to a certain level. It's not like you buy a variable spell and then can pump it to wherever, which is how I would have done it. And, um, <laughs> but I'll just double quick check on that. Yeah, this is uh, power use one point per point of spell, so it is variable. Um, so you have, you only have spirit shield one. You're just going to have to upgrade it through your own. So I'm at power 18 then for spirit at the moment. Mm -hmm. I'm down to, I've lost six points myself of a knife from healing. So I'm right. at power 11 myself. Mm -hmm. So okay. yeah, uh, so really you're the only one who's going to have to, to cope with, you know, a thing or two here. Um, and what you're going to be up against actually is um, kind of an interesting effect. Swirling into the uh into the fray and a matter of fact perhaps even detaching from evan uh is a um a spirit that is best described as a drowned old man okay uh in spectral form um and who uh uh stinks of waterlogged decay um it's not a ghost it's a, in, in RuneQuest undead terms. It's a, it's a spirit. And um, the uh, 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 what it, it's whispering as it's coming to you. Um, and it seems to be mistaking you for Eben as if Eben was a young man. Okay. Um, Ooh. All right, so you're uh, up against its power. All right. Ooh, and, um, and so that which I now have here, and you're going to be up against it in personal spirit combat. Mm -hmm. um, 
he's my current pal or my he's your normal? current this oh. is one of the, the nasty things about old school RuneQuest is that your power is not buffered um yeah there's so, no magic point yeah right exactly so oh, yes, you um, mentioned this yeah and so therefore you're basically up against the savagery of its attack so go ahead remember you guys roll power versus power each on the resistance table separately yeah. and independently so uh so here it comes and yeah, what's he what's his power well it's not as strong as you might think uh, having lost some, it's down to 12, which is... Okay, he's still got five wrong. more than me. Yes. <laughs> oh, really? You're down to seven? No, I'm down from um, 17 to 11. Right, right. That's what I thought. So, yeah, I was rolling as if against 55, and I do succeed. So, do you succeed? I do not. Oh, my 55. Goodness. Okay, yep. well, if we take a look at the effect, I believe that's in the one, in the one power loss you saw so you're going to uh you're going to suffer from a point of power loss for the first time in spirit combat considering you've been absurdly fortunate in it to date um <laughs> and uh do, 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 spirit combat there we go um and so uh right All right, so the uh, the effect here is that you are struggling in spirit combat. Um, the uh, let me think if there's something else that we can worry about or do here in that context. You're pretty much dead to the world. Can I pull on any power from my spirit, or does uh, that help? Yeah, you can. I believe. Well, let's see. Can you actually drain the spirit? You can use that for casting spells. I don't think you can use it as a, as a spirit combat thing. Um, it can enter into spirit combat as well, um, which in this case is kind of a good question. Um, not that familiar with like multiple spirit combat only, situation. I think the two of them get bumped only, together. Only his, control, only his controlled spirit could go into spirit combat. Right. There, oh, right. that's right. Yeah, yeah. The, the bound yeah. spirit is nothing but a resource for you. It's like a backup. Yeah. It's not actually an active entity Just, the way we've been doing it. Yeah. So, and the controlled spirit is gone. So, oh, um, and his yes. spirit shield kicks in in some way, right? Yeah, it's it's increased at all. He's, it's increased his effective power in this case already. Oh, okay. So, um, it just wasn't very strong. So, um, the uh, the next. Let's double check on that just for a second. It only added that one power. It's got to do better than that. Oh no! It just temporarily destroys two points of the power of the spirit. So it uh, and it was so. Therefore, um, it is. It had a forty-six. It had a fifty-five percent chance, and you destroyed two points, which gives it a forty-five percent chance, and it rolled a forty-six. So you <laughs> don't lose a point of power. I'm still on 11 then, to uh, okay, he's on effectively 10. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. So you actually, by one whole percentage point, squeaked through that particular round of spirit combat. Now, neither of you is... Um, neither of you, therefore, is a winner in that contest. So the two of you are locked in inconsequential spirit combat at this time. But um, the spirit is whispering information that you really, really, really would rather not hear. Um, this is Eben's former mentor. Ooh. Scary. Okay. Um, and, uh, and in many ways, what you're doing as it attacks you is experiencing his own death by drowning. Uh, Evan's still out of it at the moment. He can't assist. Oh, uh, Evan is in the middle of, of horrific things at this time. Okay, fine. Um, and that, that spirit broke off from him, but he is busy basically burning power left and right in order to control attacking spirits and sending them away. 
so he's you know or otherwise interacting with the spirits in such a fashion as to make them stop attacking or to def help defend um the uh the other thing that you might be interested to know is that having encountered these before many of the attacking spirits are harbingers or carriers of disease okay so if he gives he will erupt in a swarm of disease bearing spirits that will spread through the town like locusts oh, oh, not a good outcome either way mm -hmm. um and so uh uh, and and you as I mentioned before he was already tottering when you got here yeah um, and uh, Rudiver starts weeping and saying no 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 I won't no I won't I can't okay and I can't I can't use the I think I asked this I can't use the power from my own right spirit to replenish mine no correct okay well i'll just keep on fighting this guy and hope i'm lucky then mm -hmm. um so uh jonathan and alperton and sorry jonathan vinry and june are uh, guarding uh as we go into the next round um bakia's eyes snap open and uh and she says uh she she points and says i see it and points at at eben and says he is failing uh and she says she shakes her head sighs once and said well it's not the person i really wanted it to be um, and then starts walking toward Eben purposefully. Mm -mm. <laughs> wow. Tough choice time. Mm -hmm. How can we help him? I, uh, I, I looked to Bidri, yeah. <laughs> um, and, and she says, he's going to... He, he's doing his best but he's a it, when he when he drowns they'll all come through he's he'll, he'll be the gateway but then we have to keep him from drowning she says precisely mm -mm -mm. how can we do that <laughs> He sighs and says, your friend there? And then gestures over at Alkerton and says, uh, he says, he's going to need all the help we can give him. Well, I don't know what that darkness did to me, but other than that, I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm still strong. I'll, I'll help any way I can. Um, she beheads Evan in a motion oh, yeah. faster than, than anything you would have imagined. It's like almost she was just walking purposefully toward him. There's no mm. wind up. There's no, their, their style, their fighting style has no wind up. There mm. is no, there is no posture, poise or, or other kind of, uh, you know, stance. That's the word I wanted. There is mm. no, there is no fighting stance except for the finishing posture. Is mm. um, and, so, and so, yes, that occurs. Um, Henry, once again, can be shocked and appalled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I was aware, I'd be very shocked and appalled. Uh -huh. um, and the, uh, and, and at that point, this, now the spirit that had, uh, that was in combat with you. Um, you can all they can only break off uh, if they if they succeed in an attack. Ah, they didn't right? do that. And the uh, and and that spirit with a frustrated shriek turns to 
go after Eben's spirit. But it's currently in combat with you. It did not succeed in its attack. It desperately wants to succeed in its attack so that it can go and capture Evans. Yep. So uh, oh, no. let's right. uh -huh. So go ahead and make your spirit attack on it. Oh, bloody hell. 99, Ron. 50, oh, 99, oh goodness. 58. <laughs> It's it, neither of you succeed. Oh, this is like like the worst spirit combat ever. Except that what it is, you guys are. It's, it would seem that way, but more importantly, you guys, it's like basically your hand, your spiritual hands are on each other's throat. Yeah. And each of you is just keeping it from closing your windpipe. Yeah. So it's not really actually all that funny. It's not like you're lurching around drunkenly and missing. No, no, and it's so, not. Uh, and but what you do realize is that you are keeping it from taking Evan's spirit. And can his spirit escape? What came for. What's that? Yeah. Is this a time thing? So if I hold it long enough, will the Evan spirit escape? That's correct. Good. Okay. So yeah, but by mm -hmm. keeping the status quo, I'm achieving something, I suppose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, then um, let's see what I can do here. Eben is going to do something kind of interesting, or Rudiver is going to do something kind of interesting. And, yeah, he's he starts singing, he starts chanting. He's singing, and he's doing it for your benefit. Um, so, yeah, he's doing a skill that he has, um, which is actually doing you a little good. Um, we'll deal with that mechanically in a moment. And so, uh, so that's that. Other people uh, getting it. You can't perceive the spirit plane. You can't actually go after the spirit yourself. Um, the uh, uh, I'm trying to think of anything else that would would factor in here. Um, yeah, it's just a matter. Can you get yourself out? Can you can you do this? Roll again. Yep, so I'll try some bits of dice. Oh, my God, Ooh. Oh. horribly. God. And? I got excited because I got a zero, and then I got another zero. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 that's not good. Well, he got, got a, kind of it got, he got a 92, so he fails, but I am going to say that you're just going to have to lose a point of power. It's just yeah, like, fair enough. Uh, that's a fumble or something, right. isn't it? Yeah. So, good. Uh, I thought I was going to just nuke him then. Nah, okay. <laughs> um, in that circumstance, a fumble. Actually, you know what? I take that back. Don't lose a point of power. Roll in the fumble table because oh, we're going to do the equivalent. Okay, let me find that. No, I've got it. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. So is it is it uh, D percent? What do you yes, want, Ron? And everything right. on it is worse than the one before. Okay, so I rolled. No 40. matter which direction you go on the table, it's worse than the last one you looked at. What'd you get? <laughs> Forty. Forty. Right. Uh, it says shield strap breaks, lose shield immediately, and you lose your next attack. What that means is your spirit sh your spirit shield disappears. Goodness. Uh, it basically is overcome, and uh, and you lose your next ability to attack. So its next right. attack on you is free. So okay. and finally, it actually succeeds, um, and instead of taking your power, it streaks streaks away as quickly as it can. To pursue Evan's spirit, and you don't quite know what happens, but you know you gave him time. It time. Okay. It's no longer a person. Um, so, uh, uh, and and you know, uh, the, you, I'm going to say that you know the, the position you were in was not maintained by your own physical muscular force. You're probably going to fall. Okay, and I can't right. chase the spirits in combat, or um, you would have to so... go. You would have to go into the spirit plane yourself, and you don't know how. Okay, fine. You you have to have a fetch to inhabit your body to do that. You don't have any of that stuff. Okay, so I'll just collapse at the moment then. Right. Uh, you are conscious, and so you will be aware that Evan has been gruesomely killed. I will scream in horror as I see <laughs> this, I think. <laughs> oh, dreadful. I don't understand. And Rudiver is just weeping 
just collapsed in weeping. He knows exactly what happened, and he knew it had to be done, and he's completely broken down. So I'll try and maybe try and console him a bit. Mm -hmm. um, well, if you can. I mean, it's pretty awful yourself. Um, Vakia betrays no emotion whatsoever and starts mm. saying, and, and starts, you know, uh, uh, you know, nodding and saying, it's time for some judgment. The night ends. I'm going to cut now to the end of it, to the, to the next day. Um, mm. and the number of casualties are surprisingly low. Okay. Uh, the number of people who actually there was um two people appear to have been out and out murdered by the patrolling adults nobody is asking questions nobody is mourning nobody is explaining at least not uh spontaneously mm. um all of the people who were brought home by you guys have been uh you know welcomes back and hugged and you know um you know reunited um the uh there seems to be sort of a new status hierarchy in the village based on you know on your knowledge of of how people act and your intimate knowledge of most of the people different people are operating as leaders um alcaton's mm -hmm. mother is a good example um, and um, the uh, the uh, the the one of the homes that the the, the same home that the person had been dragged from that you saw, uh, mm. people right now are gutting it. Mm. Okay, good. Um, and and I've been like prying up floorboards and stuff like that. Um, the. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is that the the, uh, the the forest growth has encroached upon the village. A great deal of what were cultivated or well-used land that was effectively cleared. There are growths there that look uh, frighteningly dense and profuse. Ooh. And so... Uh, the, there's that um and uh one person is oh yeah there, there are other people who who are um organizing things basically so um what will you do who will you talk to um eben's body has been you know wrapped up in a respectful fashion um a couple of the other people who were killed the person killed by bakia and a couple of the other people who were killed um are uh uh not treated as respectfully basically they've been dumped off in like a hog wallow or something um and uh, spider pit yeah yeah <laughs> um and so uh you guys are going to do what like I guess there's still a bit of um, events that we're not really aware of. So I think Alcatan was trying to ask his mum what kind of happened when they were in the woods and okay. try and piece together the, I guess, the what seems to be <coughs> the parallel assaults happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in charge. Who won? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, um, the, uh, the, the first thing is that the... Uh, The first thing to manage is that uh, is Vakia's relationship to the other people, the other the, the people like your mother and others. They are not welcoming to her, um, mm. and they uh, the and, and she and, and and she at this point appears to be doing much more of a formal meditation than you've seen her do be aware that it's not like all the adults like knew everything and then kept yeah. it all from you guys so their knowledge is also extremely limited 
Um, yeah. But the the uh, to make a long story short, um, the primary power of the community had been exerted through the followers of Um and everybody knew that by propitiating Um that disease and the dangers of the wild were kept away. Most mm -hmm. people merely participated very briefly in very ritual and boring little ceremony once in a while. In fact, you all realized that you were kind of brought up to do that. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't the, just me. Right. <laughs> but the, it uh, seemed to jump on quite quickly. Though. Well, you were, were you, deeper, maybe, you yeah. had chosen to belong to the cult. That is yeah. Different. You were a belonging layman, not just an ordinary layman. Everybody in the village mm. was considered to be a layman of the born mm. kind. So, um, the, uh, so that's one thing. So they are explicit. No, we're not doing this anymore. We do not. We're not, we do not belong to her. We do not. Anybody who did belong to her and a few people have been called out have, have been basically, well, some of them wouldn't change. And those are the ones who were dead over there in the spider pit and others yeah. have fled. Um, others are now being given their last chance. Okay, good. Right. Um, now you should understand that there is more to this, and this is the first time you're actually going to get this explained, particularly probably just by um, probably just by Rudiver, because nobody else will really quite believe him, although they were convinced enough to do something about it when he they kind of put two and two together. Um, when he says that there was another cult, oh, and that they uh, that they were responsible for terrible things, um, and that uh, and that's who has was dragged out of the house. That's whose house is being gutted right now. Um, and that um, and and other people have heard of this cult or knew about it in a vague way. They but nobody had belonged to it except for very, very few people. Um, and um, sooner or later, people will, will, you know, discover something that they cannot touch beneath that house. Right. Um, and, uh, and, and there's some talk about, you know, like what to do. If they had explosives, they'd blow it up, but they don't. So, um, is this to take her a sacrifice? Correct. Yeah. And so um, the, but when, again, I'm, I really probably should role play this per person, but what I'm talking about is a gestalt of information that you're able to pick up through a number of disconnected conversations rather than a data dump from one person. So mainly because yeah. nobody in the village actually has the full range of knowledge to do this. Um, but the history of this area is that it was uh, long ago, um, not eons ago, but generations ago, um, the god Ordlindas had been evicted from the area. Um, often all of the gods are in concert or at least present and worshipped substantially in a given area. Not here. This is Um's territory. Okay. Um, um can function quite nicely in a kind of antagonistic mutualism with Wendrara. Um, but Typically, it's Ordlindas cult, which is the most oriented toward overt leadership and government in a given area. Here, due to the primacy of Um instead, this entire region, which Vakia, by the way, calls Hag's Nook. You guys are not familiar with that term, except perhaps as a pejorative that you're not supposed to say, um, is... Uh, this entire region is free of war. P 
people come here to escape from the wars, which is why your parents came here. Yeah. yeah. Price they pay, though. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, the so this is in some ways a bit of a cleansing, but it's also extremely dangerous. The protection from Um has been removed. Yeah. Um, so be a wet part of the wider world again. Mm -hmm. And so the uh, 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 yeah. maybe maybe not. Yeah. go ahead. I mean, who who is who is left to us basically, effectively to to turn to, right? You know, there's the mother. Um, uh, but if the chieftain's gone and the witch is being driven out to take her sacrifice, you know, we we are we are godless, right? Mm -hmm. So who who protects us? And with um, Vakia, Vakia opens her eyes. Oh. Stands up, and everybody kind of recoils and steps back a little. Mm. Um, and she says, "It's time. I know." And she looks and says, "You," looking straight at Albert, at, at uh, Jonathan, and says, "What happened?" In the forest. To you and mm. by you, what happened, boy? So I, I will tell. I will tell her the story. I think right from the beginning. I will say, you know, I, I that I'm a hunter of the wilds. Others had told me about the witch. I, they, they said I should learn more. I, I witnessed. Um, I went to a ceremony and I witnessed a priest send birds to attack Des. I I didn't want uh, Binry, my friend, basically to be hurt by these birds, so I helped to fight them off. They punished me for that. A spider was sent um, to punish me, but I managed to fight it off. Uh, and then uh, Yurina Maud said, you know, I, I could make reparations to the to the cult. I, I could basically escape her, her punishment that was coming from me. And to do that, I needed to bring Alcaton out into the wilderness. And I was frightened. I, you know, I admit I was frightened. And I took the others out. Um, I didn't know what would happen. And then we were attacked. And and I realized when we were attacked that uh, Yurin was amongst, Yurin was, 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 was joining in with them. Uh, and, you know, she wanted me to participate in killing, in the killing. Um, and, you know, to my shame, I, I, I was too afraid to kill myself, but I, you know, at first I thought, well, well, I'm, I don't want them to, to, to come for me. So I, I, I helped. And I do look at June and I say, and, you know, it was my, it was my shove that, that pushed you out of the way. And then I, then she said, then, then I realized, I realized that well, after what happened to you, that, that I didn't want this, that this was not the path I, I wanted to walk down. And so I tried to fight back and and and, and fix what I'd done wrong. And, the, I, uh, and I've tried, you know. The general response to what you're saying from the group of people there is not positive. June, mm -hmm. in particular, shouts the name of one of the people who was killed last night, one of the other teens, um, and is, uh, you know, and, but. Vakia says, I have, I know what lies behind his words. I know what happened in the things he speaks of. And this boy is braver than any of you. Mm -hmm. It's not him. Well said. The goddess, the goddess does not want his life. And she she looks around a little further and she says, 
the butcher woman because you hadn't been specific about like which people mm. right but she says the butcher woman the one who taught him the one who took him to the priest who is she where is she and she looks around at everybody and then and she says it's her The goddess has marked her. Says, uh, and that's I, I, she says that's your mm -hmm. that's your reading. No, no, no. Uh, Mall, I met Irina Mall, I met after I'd gone to the, see the priest. Boss lady. They were the ones that kind of approached me after my first failure. Mm -hmm. uh, but the ones that basically it was the butcher or something, which is why I was they introduced me to them for my first ceremony. I mean, they always kind of took me. They just said, it is your time, you know, right. off you go. Right. She had been basically your mentor in this. Yeah. Um, and so her name is Oniv, O-N-I-V-E. There it is. I knew I had it right. somewhere. <laughs> and also, um, and so, and, and Bakia says, yes, she's, uh, she, she looks at Binri and says, my bonds to you is finished with her death. And, um, and so, uh, uh, and, and she also says, you know, the, you know, the, the priest remains, there's more to learn here. There's more to know. Um, and the one who speaks will have to have seen more, done more than this poor boy. Says, the one who speaks to who? She's speaking to the, she says, she's basically referring to people speaking up. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Right. She, uh, there, there is no sense, there is no scan for truth in this mm. game. There is, or there is no insta no what she can do is perceive she has a skill to understand exactly what did happen relative to what somebody is saying she's impressed at the correspondence in jonathan's case yeah. usually there is not a whole lot of correspondence between what people say and what actually happened um so uh here she's 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 good with that basically she also knows that you were not the prime mover. She's looking for the person who is the prime mover in the current events. Specifically, the yeah, events, of course, but, but, right? Specifically, the events that brought Benry to her. That's what she's bonded yeah. to do. That's what she's religiously committed to. She finds the person who is responsible for the events which brought him to her in this fashion. In the in the name of one of the gods and she kills that person so um the uh so everybody seems you know let's let's just put it this way it's going to be a little while before she can do you know the digging the investigation if you will um, the hunt for on it well it's largely a matter of people just talking to her as she you know basically does the freaky orientalist buddhist thing and murmurs to herself and looks disconnected mm -hmm. so um that's uh that's pretty much where we're at i think i mean unless you want to i mean they're the the well the, the other side of it of well, course is is us explaining to everybody here what happened to us that's and correct. that there are yes that there are dead bodies out there and that there's a urine that we don't know yeah. what happened to and and this weird thing that's going on with the bushes here around the village it's not just here it's it continues and well the the, and, the, the issue here is whether you know the basically whether the village whether your, your village has to be abandoned yeah um and the uh the other and the, and the problem too is that clearly 
I mean, this is what people start talking about. They start talking about um, sooner or later, somebody has to come clean about a place called Green Rock. The name of your village is Green Rock Way. You had not been aware that there is actually a place called Green Rock. Okay. Which is the original village. And um, one of the people who had been an um, either belonging layman of long standing or a very recent initiate who has decided to, you know, cough it up, basically, um, they are uh, willing to say that, you know, Karba, the priestess, is actually at Green Rock. Ooh. Right. Um, it is not something well, that people talk about a lot. The history yeah. of Green Rock and Green Rock Way. Um, and so more disclosures will come to light through the course of the next day or two. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Where are you guys at? Well, I presume Jonathan is, is hated by everybody right now because well, yeah, he, not... he's, marked, he, he's marked as a an exhum cultist, but he's not going to get much sympathy from the exhum cultists. Um, uh, he'll say so, well. yeah, he's, he's kind so, of that. I think he's also very conscious that there's unfinished business with Irene, and I do wonder whether he part of him wants some kind of personal vengeance against Irene. As the person that really has fucked up his life, basically. I mean, the initial bit with the butcher's wife, maybe, you know, um, uh, and the first encounter wasn't so bad, but Yurin was the one driving deeper and deeper into darker deeds in the name of uh, of Um. Uh, well, her, well, and her father, effectively, but he's dead, and so is Jordan. But Yurin is the one I think he wants, he wants his day of, a day of justice with. Well, but he doesn't. I, he, but she may be quite powerful. He doesn't really know how powerful she is. So yeah, maybe he's going needs to talk to Binry about about that and see if Binry's up for. Well, yeah. I mean, that's 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 the obvious target amongst you know our people, our our peers that that uh, we want to get resolved. Um, and we, we know, the we, one we, thing that Binry, Binry would be stepping forward. Uh, at some point about what happened with us to say it was not Jonathan's idea to go out into the wilderness you know we, that was our own fault you know it don't, that's not on you I mean it would have been nice if you warned us that that was actually that dangerous. was dangerous like Vakia says yeah I see <laughs> I, I, right. I go to this yeah. party yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, um, but I think, but, but I think, I think the thing is this, right? For me, I also say, well, we know how, we, we kind of know how Alton feels. He wanted to top her at any chance. But I think this is something we, I, I would say, look, I want to understand what, what Makia feels. Is, is your, is Yurine, you know, do her actions mean that she is somebody who, who effectively there is a, I don't know, a wolf set on, right? She, you know, as far as the community oh, is concerned, we could hope she didn't survive the night. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, slightly worried she'll come back to us, but uh, but he so. says, blind, it says, it says, seeing, seeing all of you, just seeing too much, seeing too much, all of you, shakes her head a little bit and says to you, she's just like you, you know that, right? That right to Jonathan? Yeah, she's just yeah, she's uh -huh. she's just like you. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess I know that. She says and, 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 and she, I'm I'm blind to all that. When the goddess touches me, I'm blind to all of that. All of that. Yeah. Um so uh so the 
so yes she's she says you know no her job is basically to wreck vengeance if you will or whatever it is she calls it she probably uses a ritual word um upon Onif because mm. that's the person who is part of this village who was the door by which this whole toxic mm. power thing you know took on such force mm. um, yeah and uh and that's what but to do that she's on has gone and she knows right. Rana's gone she says she's obviously I mean there's only one place she can go yeah green rock and said yeah. and Vakia, you... right Vakia nods a few times and says and I'm I'm getting I'm learning more and more and more yeah I I, I see what you're saying I, I see that you're saying that it, that Uma is an infection and you need to cut it out at the source Somehow, I don't think it's quite that simple. But, and uh, so Binry, Binry will kind of be clearly thinking hard for him. Uh, I think it would be a good thing if the Kia could be finished with this soon. So, um, I, I would be happy to help you finish your mission since it was undertaken on my behalf. I feel obligated. She looks at you in June and says, and then again over at Alkerton and says, I'd rather that the points of light here keep shining. Hmm. Uh, and well, if that helps you up, right, too, stands <laughs> up and uh, stands up, looks around at the village, and says, "Someone will die," and uh, gets her things, walks a few feet, walks a little ways, and then stops, turns, and said, "Where is Green Rock?" As I understand it, I don't know the answer. <laughs> right. Um, don't don't know the answer. Um, well, with a little bit of thinking, you can realize that there is there is a way. There is there is a, a a road of the crossroads and the interconnected roads of the village. There is a way that you typically have not gone, or that is considered just to be part of the wilds, part of the forest. Um, okay. And one would wonder why a road would go up there. Hmm. Um, boards um and so uh so the the point is though is that if you try to go with her she'll tell you not to go yeah yeah no right i i didn't think got, and I actually, think I actually uh, yeah. Yeah. and actually binry's binry's thing was just making he was thinking that having her not be here anymore would be good <laughs> so <laughs> interesting um, yeah so I, I i think i will point the way and i will say you know, I've not been, but this is the way when, when, when we've been hunting that, you know, people say, don't go down that valley. It's, just, you know, it's, it's, it's sacred to the witch or whatever, et cetera, et cetera. And, and it's not for you, not, not, not for you to know about now sort of thing. And so there's something down there. That... Well, the way that uh, she'll put it is that uh, she's going to tell you and June uh, about a, uh, a temple that should you wish to learn um should you wish to learn the ways of blindness mm. Good. she tells you where you can go there is a temple you can go to she calls it a temple um and um uh to Alkerton, yep. she has one thing to say, which is, um, he seemed like a good man. Thank you, he was. He was a, a, a good and kind master. And he died protecting the village. Yeah, she, she sighs a little bit. 
closes her eyes for a second and then goes on. Um, and then to, uh, to Jonathan, she goes over to you and says, not many people are brave. You're marked. She'll drown you in the night wherever and however she can. Mm. Wherever you go, there are those who will see. The pathways, yeah. of the, for the pathways of the forest are your death. Yeah. I could be wrong, but I think the ways of the sword may not be for you. Perhaps you could try. Nobody truly knows. <laughs> she says, you should have seen me. Mm. But it may be that only the brightest of us can help you. It is a hard road. Ask the, ask the players, or if you go with Binri and June, ask at the temple. You may not thank me for this. to seek the words of Sega. C-Z-E-G-A with an accent. Uh, Shall I go for it? C... Z-E. Z-E, right. G-A with an accent. Matthew, I feel like I've left you out a little bit. What are you up to? Well, no, no, not at all. I guess he's on one level... Um, happy because the threat of um of his extinct extinction has been removed um he's kind of pleased about jonathan's redemption but he's without a, without a master now so he's um i guess he's concerned about rudiver whether he's sane and functioning after the battle whether he's still got at least one part of his twin apprenticeship functioning and i guess <laughs> he'll probably want to i've given gordon my sneeze <laughs> across the internet <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> These are contagious. Yeah, and um, I guess he'd want to think about how they can get a new shaman into the village and he can keep up his studies because he's seen how crucial Eben was for the community. Well, um, there are ways of coping with that. I'd actually like to uh, try something with you. Briefly. It's about time for me to turn into a pumpkin, but um, <laughs> let's see. A character, if deemed worthy by the shaman, may attempt to gain a fetch. Okay. To determine if the character is worthy, make a roll of five times the average of power and charisma. What is the average of power and charisma? For me, six, well, if I'm using um, my full power, 16. It is going to, to go up. Also, all three of you will gain a point of charisma after all of this. Okay, cool. So each of you should do that. Right, getting everybody back, Alkerton particularly by speaking up when you did. Not Alkerton, uh, Jonathan. Yeah. You're coming as clean as you could, particularly in June. It didn't give you a whole lot of liking by everybody. Mm. But let's just say you walk a little taller after that. And that point of charisma reflects, reflects it. So... Now, does that change your average, Matthew? Uh, depends, it depends if you round up or down. I'm at 16.5 average now. Oh, freaking RuneQuest. Do you round up or do you round down? <laughs> Is it? What do you think, Ian? Is that... It's a very um, unfriendly... I will say it's a very unfriendly rulebook for that sort of thing. <laughs> it is, yeah. I, uh, I suspect it's standard rounding and I was round up to even. Um, yeah. But... yeah, I think that's probably true. If it's 0.5, then you go up there. They're, they're not going to, they'll use like uh, classical, they use classical uh, old school arithmetic yeah. for that. Fine. So uh, go ahead and uh, five times that value. That's pretty good. I hope I won't get a 99 for 100 again. Yeah, 46. Excellent. Um, might as well make it simple. Your own bound spirit becomes your fetch. 
Excellent. Uh, we're going to redo it. Roll intelligence, 3d6. Uh, okay. Um, oh, dear. <laughs> Not very clever. Six. That's okay. Sp dumb spirits are actually sort of more fun, if you ask me. Uh, okay. Now, please roll uh, d100. Okay. Uh, d159. Oh. Roll three die six and add six. Uh, two, five, eleven, uh, seventeen. That's where it was before, actually. So, all right. Then. Yeah. So, all right. fact, intelligence all? of six and power of seventeen. That is your fetch. Cool. Um, the fetch can inhabit your body when you go into the spirit world. You are not very experienced with the spirit world. Rudiver will do his best, but he was not a shaman. Okay. He just has a lot of spirit knowledge, but he's not a shaman. <laughs> knows you get the idea that he and Eben had had very different ideological positions uh, mm. Rudiver had already introduced you to the concept of the slavery the enslavement of Risha and La yeah um, and much of what he has to say is couched in that particular mythology Eben had never mentioned any such thing um the disembodied fetch can cast spells into the physical plane by using the shaman senses to direct the spell. So you've got a spell casting backup or a spell casting entity. The intelligence of the fetch can be used to store knowledge of spells and the power <coughs> can be used to cast spells as with bound spirits. You may also store excess power in the spirit world. So okay. um, excess power is basically that above and beyond um, your species maximum, which is 21. So you can be, um, there, there, there are rules, basically. You get to get, basically you get to have a bank of power in the spirit world. It's not just free in every possible use. There are rules for it. You can yeah. look at them up and talk about it later. Um, and uh, furthermore, your uh, okay. There's there's other rules too, um, particularly the curing of disease, which is kind of important. Um, you also, uh, if you know the spell of healing, if uh, you yes. are uh, killed, um. You have to sacrifice those points of power that you use in the healing spell, but you then are not dead. Mm. You can actually resurrect yourself through that means. Um, and That's then you have the ability. Not if you're beheaded, though. Right. Um, well, the, suffice to say, the, however, that uh, uh, it has to over. It has to get you back to positive. Yeah. Right. Um, okay. And so. Um, and she basically, with him, with no defense whatsoever, and all the rest of it. I mean, oh. we're talking like maximum critical, etc. You know, so. So I think you need to know at least healing six to reattach a severed head. Yeah, well, yeah. six. Right. Well, and, 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 and I, I, that yeah. was that was entirely a too bad we too bad Eben couldn't pull that off. Not a oh, oh no, gee, I, shouldn't he have been able to? No, I, I well, get it. It's not. just interesting to look at some of the things that was going on. She also had a point of four points of blade sharp on. Yeah, but I think also the with that, damage she actually did was phenomenal. So that's kind of what I assumed also, though, that the Evan spirit was chased off at the end, that the spirit wanted to chase after him to prevent him from basically trying to re inhabit his own body. That's part of it, too. Yeah. 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 Or probably to capture and do more heinous things. And then, you know. Well, all right. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's. So, yeah, basically, you have, by, by, by turning, by making your fetch roll, you are now a shaman, however, an extremely green one. Yes, I need you to teach me at least something, what you can. Right. Yeah. So, um, if, if study there's someone on, there's right. so study of your own on your own is well worth doing. Uh, in Eben's effects, you will find uh, scrolls and things that can help you uh, more accurately I'm thinking more in terms of activities that you can try yeah. and objects that you can attempt to attune to and things like that and spirits to talk to 
as opposed to like just reading a book. Yeah, you know, so it's a so set of practices that can right. Yeah. And so, um, right. sorry, just typing down things as you're talking, Ron. Sorry. No, that's okay. Um, and so, therefore, your lore and spirit certainly can have a chance to um, roll a d4. Oh, d4. Right, I've got one of those out yet. Um, the caltrop of the <laughs> gaming table. Uh, a two. Mm -hmm. uh, that is okay. Um, times five, that is 10%. So you gain 10% to your spirit lore. Oh, excellent. So um, there are very few spells in old school RuneQuest for being a shaman, and I believe you now know them all. So um, that's your thing. Excellent. All right, so you guys, uh, that that's kind of interesting. You guys want to make some improvement rolls? Gordon, did you make any rolls? Yeah, I, so the rolls that I exceeded on or succeeded on were all times, you know, stat times five, which right. I don't think have. No, that doesn't count unless stuff. you get the yeah. act, under the actual value. Right. Yeah, which I did not. Um, and um, Ian, you you can improve in sling. I my smitey sling skill, yes. Yay! You go up? Uh, yeah, I do go up. Excellent. Because you're getting to the point where it's starting to get less likely that you're going to go up, right? You're getting up to what? 45% or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know, less likely. Is, uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah. And sadly, with the intelligence of nine, I don't really have the, uh, any, any bonuses there. Right. Uh, Matthew, you, did you make any yeah. skill rolls? I think just the hatchet succeeded. Oh, that's right. Failed on scan. Um, so that's 20 to roll above 20 or try to roll yes, above 20. Correct. Yep, 92. All right, then. You go up by 5 point, by 5%. Cool. Yeah. All right. So, uh, but uh, Gordon, improvement roll or no improvement roll? That really was a save versus death. Yeah, yeah, I... <laughs> I was looking at the rule and I, I kind of blinked. Yeah, I looked at the rule and I kind of blinked and I was like, that's going to be a really, really, really fucked up death if this happens. And there you go. So. Well, and, you know, Henry manages to escape from being terrible everywhere, but he's he's not good anywhere except strength and bow. So, you know, making me do constitution things, attacking my constitution, right. anything like that is going to be a a burden for him however i will point out that uh one of the most significant acts i think in the game one of the most significant acts was was jonathan's successful slingshot against the disease bird yeah that's yeah. one of the yeah. single most consequential effects in our entire story another one which is extremely important was getting death back in time yeah that was a huge issue. Um, mm. And another one was in the fight at the uh, the previous session was that successful parry against a fanaticism driven foe's spear strike. Oh yeah. <laughs> that, the, the fact that you actually got the shield up and was able to parry that particular wow. strike was extremely the... significant in the nature of the outcome of the fight. Especially because, of course, along with low con comes not a lot of hit points. So. That's right, right. Mm. So, um, speaking of which, as long as we're passing out some rewards, and as long as I'm being like very non-random about it, um, it's going to take a few weeks to do it. But uh, you're on the road to getting plus one con. Cool, that's good. For well deserved. For Benry, seems to be the the case. In regard to uh, Jonathan, thinking about what would apply from this little scroll table kind of thing. Um, somebody that you don't know who will, perhaps it's in a crowd situation or something like that, and someone like takes your hand and presses something into it. And you don't look and you don't know who it is or something, I don't know. Or, okay. this, or something is left for you. 
you know, like where you sleep, something is left for you. And okay. it is um, a, a, it looks as though it's got like a loop on it. That means it could be used as a pendant. But at the moment, it's just basically a flat, um, work, artistically worked piece. I mean, I guess the material is best described as cheap jade. Okay. Um, but, uh, but it's rather nicely worked into a pleasing symmetrical shape with, okay. a, you know, a relief, relief on it. Um, and so, uh, and so someone seems to have left that for you to have. Oh. Okay. Don't something like so I can wear it basically as a necklace, maybe, but it's what it is. Yeah, you could. I mean, it looks as though it's been, you know, carved for that. Okay. So that's kind of where we're at. And kind of interesting. Cool. I had various things prepped because I wasn't quite sure what all was going to be going on. And, um, uh, then uh and uh, part of the the puzzle of prepping for this one was why on earth did vakia not help you at the fight last time yeah she was busy and, doing uh, yeah. and mm. the fact is things mm. basically hit the fan um so uh well but that's also why there wasn't more overwhelming force attacking us <laughs> well that, possibly so yeah <laughs> yeah um yeah, spit them right Cool. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um, Ian, thoughts? So yeah, no, I think that was quite. Um, uh, I enjoyed that in the sense that there was a lot left, kind of unfinished business last week in terms yeah. of where we were, and uh, um, it was good for Jonathan, and uh, you know, it, it helped clarify the story of his transition away from the um cult and his kind of attempt to seek atonement right right more than redemption at this point um i think redemption is still a little bit away off but i think there's been atonement um i think you know things like uh, basically before you worry about the shade stuff help yeah. a little bit. before you yeah. worry about redemption you might want to consider survival yeah. well yes <laughs> But yeah, there is yeah. A, there is that. But certainly, I think that's part of it, though, isn't that? I don't think there's any real um, possibility of redemption without the whole notion that what he's done has, has placed himself in great jeopardy. Um, right. uh, and I guess getting through that to the other side is 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 the is the is the is the, 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 the promise of some kind of redemption if he if he survives the road of trials to get there. Which yeah, like we say, is not a given. I mean, yeah. he is. Yeah. He's cool. All right, guys, right, guys. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. I'm getting an echo. Huh, yeah, all good. of a sudden, he's gotten a little more shaky than he has been. The, so, right. timing wise, that's fine. <laughs> all right, then. Before, you, before Ian borks us all again. Um, and, all right, guys. Uh, thanks thanks very much.